What's up, freaks? We are getting set up for a, a live boxing, kickboxing, cardio core session. You don't need any equipment. It's going to be all just body weight. You don't even need gloves. You don't need a bag. You could just be punching the shit out of the air, and you're still going to kill tons and tons of freaking fat. But if you if you have a bag, perfect. If you have gloves, get them ready. Get them out. If you don't have gloves, you want to add a little extra challenge. You could hold two little light dumbbells, one, two, three pound dumbbells in your hands to give a little extra intensity to it. You can also just hold two water bottles even in your hands as you're throwing these combos. There's going to be tons of exercise mixed in. There's going to be punching, kicking, core, cardio exercises, full total body workout. As usual in the beginning, we're going to go through all of our basic punches. So in case you don't know the punches, you're going to get a recap right here of a regular technique of all your basic punches. And if you already know them, you can just go full speed on your own because you can never get too much practice on throwing all your basic punches. So let's get rolling. If you're right-handed, your left leg should be forward. Your right leg should be back. You should be on the balls of your feet. Your hands should be up, up your cheekbones. Your elbows in tight. A little rhythm, little flow. We're going to start with just your one. Your one is your lead hand. You're right-handed. That's your straight left. This is Facebook and Instagram, so they show everything backwards like a mirror. So realize that this is my left. Left. That's your one. Reset. Just one at a time and reset. Turn it into it. That wrist turns over. So your palm starts facing in. It ends up facing the floor. Snap like a corkscrew. Get your body behind it. A little bounce in your step. Right here. Just your one. Breathe out for each one. Whatever hand's not punching stays glued up at your chin. What's up, Donna Barada? Up, pop. Light on your feet, bounce in your step. Shh, breathe it out, breathe it out. That's your one. Let's go two, that's your straight right. You're now gonna turn that wrist over on the right hand. You're gonna pivot this right foot and whip that right hip into it. So boom, and right back into your guard. Snap it, accelerate it, and return it back into home. Right there, just your two. Your rear hand straight, your straight right hand. Keep it rolling. Snap it out there and recover. Get your body into it. Your body weight into it. Your hips turning it over. Snapping into it. Breathe it. Snap it. Right there. Let's go with our three. Three is our left hook. Our elbows bent 90 degrees, moving parallel to the ground. Pivot that left foot. Whip the hip and recover. Three, boom, is your left hook. Turn into it. Think of, think of it like your body moving like a door swinging on the hinges. Snap into it. Reset. You're creeping up awfully close to that hook. You want some of this? Forget a class. Don't be afraid to hit a man with glasses. I'll punch a man straight in the face with glasses on. That just tells me I knock him off. You can't see. That gives me another advantage. Snap into it. Hands up. Left hook. Boom. And if three is our left hook, then we know four is going to be, bam, our right hook. Right hook. Reset. Just one at a time. We're just getting rolling. Think of the, the punches, the power coming from the ground up, through your legs, from the ground, into your hips, into your waist, into your upper back, and then your shoulder. Your arm is doing the least amount of work. It's just your body using your arm as a weapon. That's the way you need to think about it. Right hook is, boom, your four, and recover. Right hook is your four. Let's go to five, our left uppercut. So if hooks move in this plane right here, uppercuts are right here, up and down. Bam, left uppercut. Five. Think about coming under the chin, into the gut. Boom, little crunch, little twist, working the abs, obliques, the lats. Turn into it. Five is your lead hand, boom, or your left uppercut if you're right-handed. Snap into it. We just call it a left uppercut. We call it a five left uppercut, not even the lead hand uppercut. If you're lefty, every shit, all this stuff is opposite. So if you're lefty, you're just weird. So just deal with it. We're calling it a left uppercut. Crunch it into it. And six, right uppercut, other side. Get those abs into it. You do this stuff right, this is the only ab work you'll ever need to do in your entire life. You'll have a strong, functional, flat core. Also, the ab work you should do or the ab work you shouldn't do is the shoveling shit into your face in the kitchen. That's the real ab work you should be doing. <laughs> Crunch into it. Boom. Drive it in. Hands up. Little flow. Little rhythm. Little bounce in your step. You should be moving around in between. You see this bald, white head bouncing around. That's how you should be. Boom. 
And if I can find rhythm in these bones for this stuff, then everyone out there has hope to find at least an ounce of rhythm inside of their bodies. Boom, six is the right uppercut. Let's put all six of those together. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Go at your own speed. If you already have this stuff down, you could just be going full speed. One, two, three, four, five, six. If not, I'm going slow just so you can see it. Straight left, straight right, left hook, right hook, left upper, right upper. Let it flow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Shifting the body weight into each punch, breathing it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Couple more. And just shake those out. Stretch those shoulders real quick. We are just getting the blood flowing, just getting warmed up. Stretch those quads, stretch the shoulders, shake those arms, stay loose. All right, check it out. We're going to be mixing in high and low punches today. So meaning punching to the head, punching to the body. If my one looks like this, so we're going to go over all six of those punches, but we're going to do the variation that would be to the body. If my one looks like this to the head, right? Blocking my face. My one to the body is not going to be this. Why not? Why because is it not? Then... Exactly. Oh, you're hitting me in the face. You get, boy? Yeah. Because then my face is exposed. You saw he sucker punched me in the jaw. So if I'm going here and I want to go to the body, I just need to keep this exact technique in my upper body and just lower my level. So I'm just going to lower my level, pop, into the body. Same thing with the two. Too high, too low. See, my face is still protected. I don't want to just reach down. Look at that. You can see that just wide open all over. So let's alternate a one low. Then a two low. So one low, reset, two low. So you're dropping your level. Think of almost like squatting with a little turn, a little twist, a little still pivoting, dropping, boom, two low. Alternate. So go one low and two low. One low. So you don't want to be reaching. You want to lower your body to the level of that punch pretty much. Let's go same thing, hooks. Let's go three low, then four low. So boom. Getting that left hook to the body, left hook to the body. If you've never been hit with a left hook, clean left hook to the body, you're missing out. You're gonna get hit, the, we're get hit right in the liver and your whole body will shut down. Nothing like a good old left hook to the body. And four low. You're lowering your level down. It's gonna be working your legs. This should feel good after all that leg work you just did. <laughs> Dropping down. Bend your legs, boom. You can also do an uppercut to the head, uppercut to the body. We don't do it too often, but just in case, think of like an uppercut is here to the head, is just following through. All an uppercut to the body, we're not even gonna go over it really, is just cutting it short and just digging it in uh, uh, to the body, just a little uppercut. So here's how today's gonna go with the punch combos. There's gonna be other exercise mixing after, but our main punch combo, whatever the last punch of the combo is, you're gonna add the opposite either high or low. So here, look, watch how it's going to go. If our combo, we're going to start real simple once we get on the bags. If our combo is a one, two, all we're going to do is repeat the last punch, but we're going to add it either, either low or high, whatever it was. So if it's one, two is our combo, we're going to add a two low. Let's say it was a one, two low. What are we adding? A one, two. What? Wait, no, one, two. What? You're just adding, repeating the last punch, either high or low, adding either a high or low with the opposite of what it was. So if it's one, two, it'd be two. If you finish with a low right, you're adding up a high right. If you finish with a low hook, you're adding a? High hook. Bam. All right, so we're gonna keep this simple so you can get this flow down before we get into more complicated rounds. Starting with a simple one, two. If you have a bag, you can start in your bag. So you should be here. One, two, two. See, it's a three punch combo. Lower your legs for that last punch. So it's one, two, two, and reset. Go on the bag if you have it. I'll show a few in the air. You jump over whatever bag you want over there. I'll do some in the air, some of the bags. So you can get different shots at it. So let's go. One, two, two. So you're adding in a two to the body. One, two high, then two low. Let's do it. One, two, two. Reset. Don't forget, lower your level with those legs. One, two, two. Reset. One, two, lower, two to the body. So 
sequence. One, two, high, two, low. One, two, two. Get low on that. Make sure you're lowering your legs for that body punch. One, two, two. Reset. Keep those hands up. Couple more. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we're going two, one. Exact opposite, just to let you get the pattern down. So now it's just two, one, which means you're adding a one to the body because you're just doubling up the last punch Mixing in either high or low. Let's do it. Two, one, one low. Two, one, one low. Right there. Straight right, straight left, then straight left to the body. Two, one, one. When you're dropping down to the body, make sure that other hand is staying up. So I'm dropping down here, the right hand stays up. Reset in between. Two, one, one. Hands up. Do one high, then a one low. Hands up in between. One, one. And your legs to get down there. And time right away. Check it out. We're going one high, two low is our combo. One high, two low. What are we adding, Tyson? Did I get my offshore in that pool? Two high. You are so lucky. So it's one high, two low is our combo, which means we're adding a two high. You're just doubling up that last punch, mixing it up high to low. Let's do it. One, two, two. Let's do it. Drop down into that two to the body. That should come natural off of that one. So you're here. Then drop, boom, come back up, and a second turn with the hip. So it's one high, two low, two high. High, low, high. High, low, high. Lower your level for that second punch. Bend your legs. High, low, and another high right. Left, right, right. Left, right, right. Left, right, right. Couple more, couple more. One high, two low, two high. That's two separate turns with the waist and pivot on that foot. One high, two low, two high. Boom, boom. High, low, high. And time, and now you're gonna go two high, one low. So your pop, pop, and then a, a third punch is again another one high, right? So you're on right high, low, high, right there. Snap it in there. Let's do it, so two high, one low, one high. So right high, left low, left high, right there. And reset. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Boom, boom, boom. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Straight right to the head. Straight left to the body, straight left back to the head. High, low, high. This is how you're gonna create some openings on that face. By sticking with that punch on the same side and switching it up, high to low, and low to high. Lie down your feet in between. All the hand stays up, work your angles. High, low, high. And time. Right here, we're gonna go with a right 
front kick to a right knee. If you're in the air, you can do a right front kick. If you're on the bag, you can do a roundhouse kick. So you're just going to be here. Kick, knee, reset. Just on the right side. Right kick, right knee, reset. If you're in the air, do a front kick. If you're on a bag, you can do a front kick or a roundhouse. Let's do it. Go. Boom. We're moving. Kick, knee, reset. Right kick, right knee. Boom. Kick, knee, and reset. Right kick, right knee. You could also do it on the bag. Go roundhouse. Right kick, right knee, reset. Right kick, right knee. Or depending on the bag, you can do a front kick on the bag. Front kick, right knee, reset. Hands up, just the right side. Kick, knee. With that kick in there, roundhouse, be on a bag. Boom, boom, and then drive that knee right behind it. That kick is setting up, bam. Boom. Hands up full time. Boom. Boom. A couple more, a couple more. It's giving those arms a second of a break. So you're on kick. Knee. Reset. Bounce around, move around. Kick. Knee, hands up. Reset. Time. All right, check it out. You're now going to do a squat thrust to plank and punch. If you're on your bag, you're going to throw two punches on the bag, or you can just do in the air. So at the bottom position, right here, you're just dropping down, punch, punch, jump in, and up. So squat thrust to plank and punch. If you have a bag, reach out and crack the damn bag. Going in three, two, one, go. I'll start off in the air and I'll show you on the bag. The freaks behind me will be doing it on the bag. Down, jump back, pop, pop, jump in, and up. Squat down, boom. Alternate which arm goes first on those punches. It's just two punches. One time go right, left, next time left, right, next time go right, right. Come up, next time go left, left, mix it up. So a different variation of those two every time. And back to right, left. Jump back, right, left. Jump in, and up. Down, boom, left, right, in, and up. Go right, right. Jump in, and up, and left, left. And ah, drop right onto your back. Quick ab set. Just give the arms and legs a break. Drop onto your back. Abs. It's done. Work it over. You got it, right? Yeah. Just doing a double leg leg lift. So both legs together. Straight up in the air and just lowering them down. Let's go. Pressure lower back into the floor. Legs as straight as you can. Tension on those abs the whole time. Don't let your lower back arch off the floor too much. Don't strain your neck. Figure it out. Let's go five more. Last couple. Time. And shake it, shake it out. Stretch, hydrate, recover. Shake it and stretch it. That's an entire full round. It's gonna be the same kind of template, same theme coming up, same way. Shake it, stretch those shoulders out, stretch your quads out. So we're gonna start off with the punching combos, all the different variations of punching combos where we add in that extra head or body shot. Make sure you are staying hydrated. I have my hydration mix, mixed of Herbalife and Trulene concoction that I'm drinking. I start before the workout. Once it's halfway down, I refill it with water so it lasts 
throughout the workout so I could just keep sipping it, staying hydrated, staying energized the whole freaking workout, the whole freaking day. Ready for the next round. They're pretty long rounds, so getting ready for it. Yeah. So we're gonna go to three punch combos here for this round. Last round you had two punch combos. We're going three punch. We're gonna start with just a simple one, two, three. Simple one, two, three. On these little breathers in between, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below about the boxing, about your nutrition, about if you need any additional coaching. If you have questions about the project, put it down in the comments below or just send me a private message afterwards. But let's get rolling. So our combo here is just a regular one, two, three. One, two, three, which means we add what? Three low. So one, two, three, three low to the body. You're just doubling up that last punch to either the opposite of what it left off on the head or body. So straight left to the head, straight right to the head, left hook to the head, another left hook to the body. That double left hook should be boom, boom. The hips are turning, whap, whap, twice. You're just lowering your level, bend legs. Let's do it for real. If you have a bag, you start hitting the bag or just in the air, whatever. Just lower the level. For that fourth punch. Keep it rolling. One, two, three, three. Hands up. One, two, three, three. Breathe it out. Little rhythm, little flow. Straight, straight. Hook, hook. And recover. First three to the head, last one to the body. Let's see it. that three to the body. Straight, straight, hook, hook low. Straight, straight, hook, hook low. And time. Except now we're gonna go two, three, four. All to the head to start. Two, three, four, which means we add a boom, four to the body, right hook to the body. Breaking the ribs, huh? Boom. Oh, I'll be, I'll be more than happy to oblige and show you. Awesome. Oh, what the freak? Getting junk. Oh. Attack from every angle. All right. Let's do it. Two, three, four, four low. Let's go. Two, three, four, four low. Let's do it. Go. Two, three, four, four low. Straight right, left hook, right hook, right hook low. Reset after each one. Double up that right hook. Big power punch. <laughs> dig it, dig it, dig it. Straight right, left hook. Right hook, right hook body. Get that right hip into it. Shift your weight to that right side. <laughs> 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 
breathe it out for each one. Boom, 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 boom. Hands up, recover. Two, three, four, four. Straight hook, hook, hook body. Couple more, couple more. Breathe it out. Boom, 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 boom. And time. All right, we're going now squat thrust, but instead of plank and punch at the bottom, you're gonna do run and punch up at the top. Nope, sorry, I lied. You got the kicks first. We got left kick, left knee, left kick, left knee. Let's go. So you're in your stance. Check it out. You're in your stance. We're going to kick with the back leg. So we're going to do a switch step. Bam, bam, and get back to your stance. So you're going to switch, kick, knee, skip back to your stance. So left kick, left knee. The kick could be a front kick, roundhouse. Doesn't matter. Let's see it. Reset after each one. Switch, boom, knee. Reset back to your stance. Get back to that stance. Switch. Reset. You can do it in the air, you can do it in the bag, you're gonna still burn shitloads of calories, even just doing it in the air. Hands up, switch, boom, boom, reset. Reset. Kick, knee. Kick, knee on the bag, reset. Switch that, boom, boom. Do a roundhouse front kick, whatever. If you're in the air, probably front kick is going to be more natural. The bag, you probably go to roundhouse. Switch, kick, knee. Reset. A couple more, a couple more. Hands up in between. Get those abs into it. Get that core into it. Boom. One more. Time. And we are now going to squat thrust to four run and punch. So instead of doing those plank and punch at the bottom, you're going to do four run and punch at the top. So you're down here, come up, and one, two, three, four. If you're on the bag, you're just punching. Four fast, straight punches while you're doing high knees. Going in three, two, one, roll and go down, up. One, two, three, four. Right back down. Pop, 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 pop. Do it on the bag also. Got your punch even faster. Ha, 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 ha. One. Out. One, two, three, four. Four straight hard punches. on our backs for the app set. Yes. Twelve on your back. Okay. <laughs> yes. We're doing alternating single leg leg lifts. So that means your bottom leg is staying in the air, hovering above the ground while one leg moves. So they're both here. One lifts up, bring it down. It stays in the air. Once it's down, then the other one comes up. But it's not resting on the floor. Obviously if it's Strain your lower back or hip or whatever. Look, you just put it on the floor and lift one at a time, whatever. There's always a modification. Modify before you stop. Die before you quit. quit. Uh, Squeeze it up. There's a modification for everything, no matter what fitness level you're at. There are no excuses for not getting shit done. You don't need a freaking gym membership. You don't even need equipment at home. You need the, all you need is the most sophisticated, piece of exercise equipment in the world. Your body. And that's your freaking human body. Hell yeah. Four more. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. And time. That's the round. Woo. Shake it out. Stretch it. Hydrate it. Now listen, we could easily just go straight through and go to the next round. And that would be a 
slower paced, steady state because you wouldn't be able to go hard. We're taking these breaks for a reason so you can recover, hydrate, get those muscles ready to go, catch your breathing so you can come out full freaking speed the next round. Otherwise, it's going to be half assing it. So these breaks are strategic and they're to get you ready to go all freaking out the next round. While you're on this break, you should be making sure that you're liking this video, commenting on the video, sharing it with your friends, your family members, your coworkers, your fucking enemies, and making sure that you're putting down below if you're following us live or on the replay. And then share this video. If you need any additional help with your training, with your nutrition, with your habits, with your discipline, with your mindset, send me a message we could talk about one-on-one, -on -one, high-level, private coaching in your mind, your body, and your business. We could talk about that. We could jump on the phone and see which program is a good fit for you. Shake it out. Get hydrated. We're going in about 20 seconds. So we're going to repeat all those combos we just did last round, those three punch combos, except the third punch of the combo is going to be to the body. So you need to add now a headshot instead. So we're going to repeat those same combos that we did with those, with the one, two, three, two, three, four, and then the one, one two, three, and two, three, four. So we did one, two, and three last round, right? And then we added a left to the body. This time it's going to be one, two, three to the body, which means we're adding... Who's paying attention? None of you. What? What's the answer? I don't. Three high. You just pull that out of your ass. It's right. You just totally pull that out of your ass. I didn't even know what the combo was. It is a three high. <laughs> so it's one, two, three low, and three high. So subconsciously you were paying attention and didn't even realize it. This could be this could be just, just crap. All right, so let's do it. So one, two. Three low, three high. Let's see it. If you're ready, if you got it down, you can practice it a couple times in the air to get it down, but then get on the bag and let's go full speed. You had a recovery. You're hydrated. You're ready to freaking go. Let's see what you got. Let's do it. So one, two, three low, three high. Turn that body. Whip the hip into those threes. Boom, boom, boom. Three, three high. And reset. Straight, straight. Hook low, hook high. Hands up, recover in between, a little bounce in your step, one, two, three low, three high. Don't want that left hook, low, high. Boom, boom, three low, three high, reset. One, two, three low, three high. Bang it out there, freak shows. Bang it out, freaks. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. There it is. A little bounce, a little reset each time. Boom, 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 boom. Straight, straight. Hook low, hook high, reset. Couple more, couple more. So it's straight left high, straight right high, left hook low, raise up, jump up into that left hook high. You should be extending and rotating for that big left hook to the head, that big left hook high. Hands up. A 
couple more, a couple more. Boom, 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 boom. Time. So now we're repeating the two, three, four, except the four is going to be low. So it's straight right high, left hook high, right hook low, adding right hook high. So it's just two, three, four, four. It's a low four, high four. Got it? Practice in the air, on the bag, whatever works for you. Two, three, four, four. Straight right, left hook, right hook high, right hook, or sorry, right hook low, right hook high. Two, three, four, four high. Two, three, four low, four high. Straight right, left hook, right hook to the body, right hook to the head. Let's see it. Full speed, straight through. Put it on the bag. Whatever hand's not punching, keep up with your chin. Look when I do that four, look where my left hand stays. Boom, it's protecting my face. Because anytime you throw a punch, you're going to be exposed to that split second on that side. At least protect the other side. Two, three, four low, four high. Straight, hook, hook low, hook high. A few more, a few more, a few more. Boom, 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 boom. Three, four, four, two more. And time. Shake it. We're now going with our kicks. You're going to go a right kick, left knee. Just a right kick, left knee. I don't care if it's a roundhouse, a straight. So you're going to be here. Kick, knee. You can even drive forward and see how that flowed. If I'm at a distance, it's boom. And left knee drives in. So if my target was here, oh my god! I can kick yeah. him, step down, and oh. boom, and drive the knee in. Right there. Let's do it. Right kick, left knee. And, re sorry. and reset. Go, right oh. kick, left knee. Find the flow, whatever rhythm works for you, with a step, without a step, in place. Switching your stance, whatever you need to do, just get a right kick, left knee. And reset, get your distance back, whack, boom, hands up in between, light on your feet, right kick, left knee, reset, get back to your distance, back to your kicking distance, because obviously the kick is going to be a longer distance, knee is a real short distance, that kick, you're closing distance with the kick. Drive in the opposite side knee. Let it flow. Kick. Knee. Reset. So right kick. Left knee. Reset. Kick. Knee. And reset. A few more. A few more. Work through it. Back to your stance. Flow into it. Kick. Knee. Hands up the whole time. Boom. Boom. 
Two more. Two more freak shows. Boom. Boom. Now reset. Time. We have now crawl out to plank and punch. Just like we did squat thrust to plank and punch the first set. You're going to do a crawl out. Punch while you're out there. Crawl back in. If you're on a bag, you can just crawl past the bag and still punch it. So you should be right here. Crawl out. Pop. Pop. Crawl back in. Stand up. So if you have a bag, you should be far away from your bag. Crawl out to punching range. Pop your bag. Crawl back in. Stand up. Go. Crawl out to plank and punch. Don't forget to alternate your two punches. So one time, go right, left. Next time, go left, right. Crawl back in. Stand up. Next time, out. Go right, right. Crawl it back in. Next time, out. Left, left. Keep it rolling. Fast hands going out there. Any two punches. If it's not in perfect order, it doesn't matter. Just throw two freaking punches. Try to make a different variation each time. All the way out there. Two more. Last one coming up. And a left, left. Crawl it in and up. On to your backs, freak shows. We're going single leg, leg drop. So the exact opposite of last round. So both legs are straight up. One lowers down. Once it's all the way back up, then the other one lowers down. Right there. It's alternating size. Tension on your abs the whole time. Controlling that movement. Press your lower back into the floor so you're not arching up and straining your lower back. Your core is going to stay tighter that way. Dig your, round your lower back into the floor. Dig it in. Down slow. Squeeze it up. Let's go. Five more each side. One. One. This is strong. Boom. Two. Three. Three on the left. Four. 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 And five. Five. Time and shake it. That is the freaking round. Shake it and stretch it and hydrate it. Get ready for the next round. If you've been watching these live videos and these live workouts, I'm sure you've heard me talking about the project. Isaac back here in the background working out with us is actually a graduate of the recent class of the project. And here he is over my house with his son doing these workouts together. That's just what the project is all about. It's not like a mud run or a Spartan race or some motivational business guru seminar where you get all motivated, you jump off a high five and give a bunch of hugs to a bunch of strangers over a weekend and you go back Monday morning to your, your miserable, mediocre, average, boring life where you're just going through the motions. It's literally re-sparking your life and keeping it lit by staying connected. It's becoming part of an ongoing lifelong brotherhood of men, of motivated, hungry, successful, kick-ass, like-minded men just like you that are gonna push you and hold you accountable. And to have that support system is something that men are lacking in the world these days. And it's what the project provides, exactly what's going on here. So if you want information about that, again, just send me a, a quick message and let's talk about it and see if you're a good fit for it. See if you have what it takes. You probably don't have what it takes, but we'll talk about it and find out to see if you have what it takes. Next class is coming up. April, that is completely sold out. June class, which is still a couple of months away, is already 85% sold out. August is already 65% sold out. And that's like four, months, four or five months away, whatever it is. So this stuff sells out months in advance. So if you want information, you need to jump on it and get set up right away. Send me a message and we will talk about it. You got 20 seconds to shake it out and we're going to the next round. All right, check out what we're gonna do here. This combo is gonna be a one, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. What's up, Huber Duber? One, two, three, four. Okay, they're all gonna be high, and then you're gonna add another three, four low. So you're just gonna be on one, two, three, four, three, four. So one, two, three, four high, add another three, four. That's a left hook, right hook, low. Let's do it, show me it. Practice in the air a few times, and then get on the bag or just get right after it, whatever works. One, two, three, four, three, four. See, there's no hesitation. It just flows right from that three, four high right away to the three, four low. You just drop your legs and flow right in stride. One, two, three, four, three, four low. One, two, three, four high, three, four low. So it's straight left, straight right, left hook, right hook, then left hook low, right hook low. Chain it together, chain it together. He is a, you're asking who the other, who we got in the background is. He's just graduated a recent class at a project just last month, February, or I think February it was. So now two months, whatever, two months ago. February class just recently graduated He's from the California area. And that's what we do is stay in constant connection and get together on a regular basis, even after graduation. That's how you keep this thing growing. You keep yourself motivated and focused and moving forward and accountable. All right, straight, straight, hook, 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 low. One, two, three, four, hook, hook to the body. So one, two, three, four, high, three, four, low. Straight, straight, hook, 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 hook. Yes. Couple more, couple more. One, two, three, four, three, four. Straight, straight, hook, 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 hook. And reset. Two more. One, two, three, four. Drop low for those two body hooks. Yeah. Time. So we're gonna go do the exact opposite. It's gonna be one, two, three, four low, and then three, four high. So it's straight, straight. You're gonna drop three, four, come boom. Those last three, four. Look, check this out. After you do those three, four to the body, you're down here, right? Boom, boom. Take your legs, extend, and rotate into bam, bam. That three, four to the head, that final three, four head should be fucking bombs. Vicious, violent, damaging strikes. Let's do it. One, two high, three, four low, three, four high. Right there. Just lower your level. One, two, three, four, three, four. Too high, too low, too high. Lower your level, then raise your level back up. One, two, three, four, three, four. Two high, three, four low, three, four high. Explode on that last, that three, four high, that last two punches, this six punch combo. One, two, three, four, three, four. Come on, a few more, a few more, work through it. Last couple. Going back to that squat thrust. 
We did it with a plank and punch at the bottom. We did it with a run and punch at the top. You're gonna go now squat thrust. And you're, every time you get to the bottom, you're gonna do two plank and punch. Every time you're up, you're gonna do four run and punch. It's gonna be a fast paced round. A burnout round. Yeah. You like the sound of that because you think that a burnout round means you're getting close to the end, don't you? <laughs> That's what you think. Burnout, yeah. All right, so you're on. Basically, alternate between plank and punch and run and punch. A squat thrust is what's going to transition you there. So get down, two punch, come up, run and punch for four. Right back down, two punch, up. Where the fuck? We started like 10 minutes ago. I'm on like my 10th rep and you're all watching me do it. You're not going to burn calories watching me do it. I'm almost done. I'm already gassed out. You guys just didn't even start. Two punch. Come up and run for four. So it's plank and punch, transition, right to run and punch. A squat thrust just happens to be what transitions you there. Plank and punch, run and punch, plank and punch, run and punch. Let's go, two more of each. Up, pop, 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 pop. Down for the bike. One, two, back up. Ha, 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 ha. Time. We are on our backs. Yes, accountability even for the little young freaks. We are on our backs. What do you think we got? 100 flutter kicks. Exactly. You knew it's the end. 100 flutter kicks, not flutter kicks, flutter kicks <laughs> on your back. Hundreds of kicks, and we are done! Kicks. <laughs> yeah, you like these exercises in the back. It's like nappy time for you. <laughs> nappy time. <laughs> Let's go. All together. 100. Go to three, two, two one. one. Rolling! Let's go! Two. two. knuckle fist bump for the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the MySpaces, all that other bullshit. Uh, work. Hey, Zeta. Yeah. Missed them. All right, freak shows. Yeah. We are done. Make sure you're stretching it out. Make sure your recovery process starts right now. I have my recovery shake already made, ready to roll. I'm going to start chugging it here in a second. Yeah. You need yeah. the recovery process to start right now. You need to have the discipline to have your nutrition ready before your workout, after your workout already ready for you. So there's no missing it. Nothing can get up, nothing can get in the way of you having the proper fuel for the workout and then the proper recovery afterwards. That stuff needs to be planned ahead of time. Hoover Duber, thanks for joining us, Freak Show. And listen, if you need any help with maintaining the discipline, accountability, the energy, the self-confidence, becoming an action taker, just being your freak mother freaking self, just let me know if we could talk about it. Again, we have the project, which is an in-person group self-personal development program, lifetime program for men. It takes place here in Southern California at our private compound. Or if you need some help remotely, we also have one-on-one -on -one high level OTD coaching. It's operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business in that order because there's no sense in building an empire if your mind is not right and in the right place, you're not taking care of your body, and that is what it's all about. Discipline, energy, confidence, taking action, and being your freak self. That's what it's all about. So if you have any questions, comments, you want to talk about the project, you want to talk about any kind of coaching, let's jump on the phone and see what is the best fit for you. And we can get you rolling. We can go through an interview process and get you started right away. 
So I will talk to you later. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. Freak show. No excuses! Very, very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I can't imagine why all our neighbors hate us. And don't ever invite me over for dinner. I'm offended. Anyway, fuck it. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.